Okay guys, Fusion Masters episode two. This is where we're gonna be creating bite-sized animations, learning Fusion, and getting better together. Now, I did a video last time, you guys had some great comments, and that's really one of the main things about designing is taking something and iterating on it and making it better. So we're gonna take the last animation I did for the, the Atom, and based on your comments, we're gonna be adding some things to maybe see if we can kind of take it up a level. If you're interested, if you're interested in DaVinci Resolve Fusion and wanna learn more, make sure that you like this video and subscribe to follow along and get better. And also comment below and let me know what you think of these animations, what you'd like to see. Maybe we can do some more variations or whatever, um, but your feedback is really, really important. I'm looking forward to hearing from you. And also I, I developed some tools that make it a lot easier to edit and resolve some workflow enhancements. It's called SparkFX. A lot of plugins, media browser, stuff for doing audio, all kinds of stuff. Um, so download it and check it out and see if there's something in there that might help you edit better and faster. All right, today we're gonna take that last animation and we're gonna add a gradient for each of the rings. We're gonna take the little ball at the end of the rings and kind of put a little glow trail thing on it. And in the middle of the, in the middle, we're gonna do some really interesting effects um, to kind of spice it up just a bit. A lot of the design and motion graphics is just playing around with some different ideas and seeing what works. So that's what we're gonna to try today. Okay, it's time to fix up this uh, atom animation and make it better based on your request. We're gonna add a gradient and we're gonna take the center and do some effects in there to make it look really cool. So let's take a look. Up here is where we did the rings. I'm just gonna show each of these nodes super quick to get you guys oriented with how this is set up. This first merge right here just has a dot that spins around. The next merge is a line. And then the two after that kind of extend the line and this is where we're gonna add a gradient in. There's a duplicate node to get the atom swirling effect. This merge here puts the center in. The background, this is where we do the color. And you know what? We're just gonna get rid of that. We're gonna select that node and hit delete because we don't want it. We're gonna connect this merge up into the glow. We're gonna add the color up in here. And let's take a look now. There we go. All right, so we're gonna add color in elsewhere. Continuing along, we have a glow. There's a transform that spins it around and finally the media out. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna get rid of some more stuff. Let's take a look right here. So we don't need these two rings. So we're just gonna disable this merge and disable the merge here. And we're gonna delete, make this more simple. We're just gonna select those nodes and hit delete. What we wanna do here is we wanna take this polygon and we wanna extend it out. So we're gonna go into the inspector and take the length and we're gonna spin this around a lot more. And this is where we're gonna be adding the gradient to it. It's real simple to do this. We're gonna put the gradient in here. And we're also gonna take this ellipse and move it over. I just highlighted those and clicked and dragged. And we're gonna take this one and put it right here and connect it up because we want the lips to be on the outside of this ring. All right, let's do a gradient. So um, with this background here, let's take a look. We're gonna put that in the first viewer. All right, so it's transparent. So let's bring the alpha up and then we have black. So choose type and we're gonna choose gradient. So this is gonna go from black to white and we want it to be a angle gradient. And we're gonna take the center and move it right in the middle. We're gonna set it to 0.5. This little dot here starts on the left-hand side. So we need to flip this gradient around. Let's grab the black and move it over to the left and grab the white and over to the right. So we're just kind of flipping it. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this uh, gradient angle and we're just gonna move it around to right about in here. So it's gonna start out white and then go around to black. All right, we want the background to spin and match the, uh, the polygon line. The board will bring this down a little bit. So what we're gonna do is outside of the background, we're gonna add a transform node and that's gonna allow us to rotate the background. So the gradient is gonna move along with our line. I'll reset that. We're gonna keyframe the first frame and let's take, click on the polygon and you'll see that the polygon makes a full loop. It looks like at frame 40, position goes from zero, goes from one to zero by frame 40. So at frame 40, we're gonna go back to this transform node and we're gonna change the angle to 360. And it's the wrong way. So we're gonna go back to the angle and frame 40 and let's put it at negative 360 because we need it to spin the other direction. Now you'll see that it's not quite right, but it's pretty close. And this is where we could keyframe it. So let's go ahead and do that. So we're gonna um, drag it right in here and we're gonna change the angle and kind of move the angle a little bit further along. Keep going about halfway. This one, it, we're gonna have to move it back a bit. Right in here, pretty close. All I'm doing is clicking in between these keyframes and just slightly adjusting this. It doesn't have to be perfect. We just need it kind of close. So now we have the, the uh, gradient spinning along. Now it's stopped because we need to get it to repeat. So go to the spline editor. We're gonna select the angle for the transform node Click this to view all the keyframes. We're gonna highlight those, and all we're gonna do is just have it, um, we're gonna hit this one to repeat, set loop. And it's just gonna keep on going. So how do we get the gradient to only show up on the line where the ellipse is, on the border? So all we need to do is just click on operator on the merge node, 
and we're going to change it to mask. And that means it's going to use this background as a mask on our line. And now we have a gradient line. Let's take a look at the media out. It didn't look like too much. Now let's add some color. So let's go to our background node. The next thing we're going to do is we just want this to fade out a little bit. And we're going to go to the, uh, the background. We're going to take this blue and move it over a little bit. Click on the very end. And we're going to set the color on this one to just transparent. And you notice at the very end there, the line actually starts to fade out. So we, if we want to fade more, you can move these handles here. And so now we have it kind of fade going from green to blue and then fading out. All right, now we're going to do a real quick effect on the little ball there to kind of give it more of a trail effect. So let's select the background and hit Control Space and search for Duplicate. And we're going to kind of add some more balls into here. So with the duplicate selected, go to the inspector and let's set it for say 10. And you're not going to see anything because all of the copies are right on top of each other. So let's ch change this time, off time offset to minus one. And you're going to see all the balls are going to be trailing following the other one. So it's duplicating in time, um, kind of back in time. All right, let's go to the, uh, the gain section and let's adjust some of these colors. We can kind of colorize the balls a little bit based on this. Let's make them kind of a green. So we'll pull back, pull this back kind of play with that kind of a yellowy green and take the blend and bring that down. So they go like kind of fade in. They're leading right now. So let's move this up. We're going to add a couple more things in here real quick. Outside of the duplicate, hit control space and search for blur. And let's bring up the blur just a bit. And we're going to add a glow. Control, hit outside of the, click the blur, control space, glow. Let's add that in there. And then we can adjust the glow. We kind of have a, the ball leading. Let's see what the full animation looks like. Okay, that, those balls are they're way too big. They're kind of dominant there. So what we're going to do is we're going to go back to this ellipse and it's right here. Let's click on it. Let's just make it a lot smaller. All right, so now we have the gradient lines. If we wanted to change the gradient, all we got to do is go to the background and we'll click on here so you can um, adjust these points to make it more blue, more green. Let's change it up. We'll make it, uh, let's go red and orange. We're going to click on the red. Click. All right, you see how the, these in here? I'm going to slow this animation down just a bit so that these little... Uh, these little balls are a little bit closer together because they're kind of spaced out a little bit more than I would like. And they're together, it's going to be a little more blended. Let me slow this thing down just a touch. I'm going to click on the polygon. So we just uh, changed the keyframes to kind of match a little bit more with the slower rotation. I think it's going to look a little bit better. All right, so let's uh, let's change the center dot here. So we're going to move this down. A couple things we can do here. We're going to take this background and hit Control C and Control Shift V to, to paste an instance of it. Then we're going to take this and put it right into this merge here and the background's right there. And then we're going to take these ellipses and we're going to use these as a mask. And there we go. We're just go ahead and just get rid of that one. Okay. So we have the same gradient that we're using for the rings for the middle part. And I'm going to switch it up so that we can kind of make it look more interesting. Actually, let me change the color on this background real quick. Try something different. Okay. So we're going to go to this background here and we're going to de-instance de some properties. Let's de-instance the gradient type. We're going to de-instance the start and end. We're going to use the same colors, but we're going to create a different shape. Uh, de instance offset, and that should be pretty good. So now go to the gradient, and we're going to set the type to let's try radial, and then we're going to take the ending point and move it in, and we're just going to set the radi the radial to repeat. And with this repeating, we can actually use this offset to create an animated effect in the middle. Make the ellipse a little bit bigger, soft edge it, and go back to the this instance for the background. Right click on the offset, choose expression, and we're going to set it to time. Right by 100. Let's make it go a little bit faster. All right, it's looking interesting. Now let's uh, just experiment with some of the different background modes. So we're going to change it from radial to, let's say, cross. Change the background. And, okay, let's have the, uh, the center part spin a different direction. So outside of this, we're going to put a transform node. And we want the center to spin in the opposite direction. So we're just going to have it spin like this. So in a keyframe, first angle, let's go over a bit and have it spin the other way. Let's see, we can also, uh, a couple more modes on here. The square is interesting, Refle reflection. And then the other thing I did is I put it on the radial, which looks, I think that looks really good. We can make it a little bit bigger or smaller. And then outside of here, I put a vortex. So control space and search for a vortex. And then we can take the center of the vortex and kind of move it a little bit. And that's going to give us a really interesting warpy look. Click the duplicate. Let's make uh, five rings. This is the duplicate for each of the rings. We're going to set it to five. Let's spin these around a little bit. Okay, so basically we, we've added a gradient, um, gradient to the ring. We took the ball and kind of expanded it out with uh, some glowing kind of trailly stuff. And we went to the center and put a kind of an interesting animation on it. So this is all about making things better. Really appreciate you guys' feedback. Um, 
If you have any questions or thoughts on this, let me know. Um, I'm just going to continue. We're learning Fusion. We're trying stuff out, and that's how you get better. Okay, guys, thanks so much. Hope you enjoyed the video. Um, there's a lot of really cool stuff in here. Comment below. Let me know what you think, and maybe if there's some things we can do better. Or if you'd like to see some other kind of information, um, animations, techniques, or anything, let me know, and then we're going to throw them on the list. We're going to dive into Fusion here and make lots of great stuff. Um, make sure to like the video and subscribe if you want to follow along and get better at Fusion. Okay, guys, I will talk to you soon. More videos on the way.